Hello, let me introduce you to Bob. Bob is an interface module for the Circlon sequencer. It's a rather special module for a limited audience, but for those who are lucky enough to own a Circlon with the CVIO board, it opens up the world of 4UBU. The HCB alone doesn't do anything. There are no pots, no dials, no flashy display. There are just some switches on the right side, but more about that later. The idea of the module is to port the DB25 into Banana Land and then use it in the modular world. The Circlon CVIO is a really powerful digital to analog converter. The manual describes it as a MIDI interface without the latency of serial MIDI, but it also brings smooth modulation and other great things with it. But let's start with the basics. Bob has 16 blue bananas and they can be configured to either carry the pitch, velocity, envelopes, or one out of four auxiliary channels. You can choose to limit the data to one of those, or even create a mix of them. Super useful for something like key tracking on a filter, for example. Bob also has four red bananas. By default, these carry the gate signals for each track. So gate 1 goes with track 1, gate 2 with track 2, and so on but that can be reassigned in the CVIO configuration. Same as a lot of other options. You will actually spend a good amount of time here, but once assigned, it will bring the sequencer and the rack together. One thing we did not want to adjust is the calibration of the CVIO board though. This is a system setting and requires some time to set for each channel. If you have a Eurorack system, you would like to have one volt per octave. But in 4UBU, we use 1.2 volt per octave. Same goes for triggers. Eurorack and others are happy with 5 volt. The silverware here needs 10 volt. So the Bob is not just a simple passive adapter, it actually has the scaling functions built into every output. You can leave your Zirklon set to its default 1 volt, and HCB will take care of the rest with precision op amps for the outputs that also provide buffering. Buffering means you can stack the outputs with as many connections as you see fit and share the signal between multiple oscillators, for example, without a drop in pitch. Every output also has an LED that indicates activity and gives you an idea of how much voltage is present at that output. That makes it much easier to find the right output instead of counting them. The last point I want to mention is the green bananas. By default, they act as gate outputs for the next four tracks. So if you leave the configuration alone, you will get gate signals for track 5 to 8 on those ports. But the CVO caught up another trick in its arsenal and that is, drum roll, CV to MIDI. So if someone asks, why do I need MIDI for? They clearly did not try to animate their other outboard with their modular system. What better modulation sources can you think of than some 40 year old noise generator or a cross modulated LFO of some sort? If you set your CVIO board to become an input, you can change the routing on the Circlon Bob to the same. The gate boosters are now bypassed, and instead, the input signal has been shown at the LED. You can dial in the attenuation, add an offset, or limit the MIDI bandwidth for that CV value. With this, you can control, for example, a reverb mix, filter cutoff, or whatever you would like to use. Also, light effects on stage if you're into such a thing. So that's all for now. I hope you like the idea of integrating your rack with your Circlon and let Bob help you with that. Have fun and make cool tunes.